In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to change the controller keybinds on Steam. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm gonna give you easy to follow instructions on how to easily change all of your controller keybinds. This is going to work for any game that you run through the Steam launcher, regardless of whether it's a free game, whether it's a game that you purchase, or even if it's a game that you added as a non-Steam game. All that you have to do is either right click the game and go over to its properties or you can click the Steam logo at the top left, select settings and then go over to the Steam controller settings. First, in the actual Steam settings, I recommend that you double check to see if Steam input is enabled for all types of controllers. Steam input is what allows us to set up and manage all of the controller keybinds, so always double check to see if this is enabled. Now, once this is done, you can calibrate the settings through here, but what I recommend now is that you right-click the game, as I was saying previously, go over to Properties, and then Controller Properties. Once again, you can check to see if Steam Input is enabled, and finally, you can find the Controller Configurator. You can also click this little Game Pad icon. Once you click this Game Pad icon, you will be able to find the settings for the specific game. Now, you can either browse through community-made layouts, where, as you can see, you have them up sorted by likes, you can see how many hours the person who made them has played, or you can use a recommended layout officially developed by the makers of the game. You can go over to view layout to see how everything is currently configured, and finally edit layout, where you can change the buttons, the d-pad, the triggers, and the joysticks, so you will be able to assign various options to these buttons. I won't go into too much detail, but it is highly customizable. You can assign keyboard actions, you can assign even your mouse actions. So for example, you can make a certain button do a left click, a middle click, a mouse four button if you have those side buttons and so on. It is highly customizable and I recommend that you take your own time to carefully go through all of this. Steam input makes this process very convenient and it works with any game that you launch through Steam. I hope I was able to help you on how to change controller keybinds on Steam. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.